Hello. I'm gonna give my thoughts on the MM731 from the review guide that I um, got from a, a link I don't think I was supposed to have. But um, I'll I'll link it in the description so you can go read all this for yourself. There's also a bunch of other info on the mouse. So this is the MF731. So this is um, a mouse from Cooler Master. It's supposed to be a wireless mouse for $69.99, $70.99. And, and the crazy thing about it is that it weighs uh, 59 grams. And has perfect features and basically other way. You have a third PAW3370. You have RGB even. LK Opticals, which is... Nah, they're not going to be feel great, but hey, that's, that's something, you know, really light. And the design of the mouse is based off the Pro Intelli mouse, but a bit smaller. So kind of like the Ninjutsu Origin 1X, if anyone knows what that is, this is pretty similar to that. Although I think this is a bit lighter, um, mouse grip tape included, no holes too, despite being 59 grams. And it's way cheaper than the super light, so this should be like top budget wireless mouse, especially at seventy dollars. I don't think it matters though. I think um, I would guess, I would hope Cooler Master does this. Forty nine ninety nine for the MM seven thirty, and then charge seventy nine ninety nine for this. For sixty nine ninety nine, this should kill the market, but I don't know what it's gonna be, or maybe it's gonna be like both of these. I don't know. Sixty nine ninety nine sale price or something. But, um, yeah, this looks very promising. So you have, uh, the switches are probably going to be mad. A battery life, I don't know how long that'll last. Up 72 hours. I had this test aid. Pretty sure MX Master 3 lasts longer than that. I don't know what, I mean, I don't really trust that. Um, no debounce time you have to deal with, which is cool. Well, a little bit, I guess. But you also get um, PTFE feed. This mouse is basically top of the line everything, but it's not top of the line price. So, yeah, I mean, shape-wise, um, yeah, it's like an um, MM. There's all the specs there. This looks very, very promising. Um, I don't know if I'll get the wireless one, because honestly, I don't really care about wireless too much. I mean, I have wireless mice. I have the Basilisk X Hyperspeed right here. And it's nice, but I don't know if it's not like I it's not like I like need a wireless mouse or I'm gonna go and sing, you know. So yeah. I only need something like that. But um fifty nine grams for this. Yeah, that's gonna be pretty good. Uh, hopefully there's not anything uh, weird about it. Build quality could be a concern. It is a Cooler Master mouse, but um, on paper this should be basically perfect. I mean, ultra lightweight ergonomic mouse that's not even that expensive and wireless. Yeah, this is going to be really well liked. No embargo date yet, though, unfortunately. Although it does seem like this will release July 26th. Do not quote me on that. That, but based on some rumors I've heard that seems like that might be to date but who knows so if you're looking forward to this um, there's a hardware Canucks review on this mouse as well you can maybe watch that if you want but um yeah this looks like a really potentially very good mouse so yeah